Hello, welcome to Dr. Dragon Does Math. We are doing interior and exterior angles today. So um, let's start out by a example of interior and exterior angles with a little version of Darth Dragon Draws. So what I've drawn is basically a very ugly looking triangle with some extended lines um, and so this right here these are interior angles because they are on the inside of the triangle these over here that 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 right there all those those are exterior angles because they are on the outside of the triangle and in fact they're they're made with the lines and it makes some pretty cool properties here uh, but we'll get to them in a bit so we have interior which are the blue the ones the angles inside of a shape and I, we're, we're really just working with triangles but that goes for anything so interior angles are inside and exterior angles are angles that are made with the vertex of a polygon but they are outside of said polygon so those are the the red ones here so before I do anything else I want to show you something I want to show you inside of a triangle now a lot of us already know this um, but don't do this to your notes, by the way. This is something Mr. Lewis can do because he's special. Um, I am special. Yes, I am. That's what my mommy always told me. Okay, so this is obviously a triangle. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to color this corner of the triangle. Little teal color. I'm going to color this corner of the triangle a blue. And I'm going to color this corner of a triangle red. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tear these corners off. Yoink. Yoink. yoink and I'm going to line them up like this do you notice something I bet you do they make a line therefore the three corners of my triangle the angles themselves add up to a hundred and eighty degrees pretty cool that is basically the um, the fact that we need to know to do all of this homework outside of a few more I'll tell you as we go so first on we have a triangle with the measure in the measure of angle QPR or QRP QRP oh, excuse me measure of angle QRP is 48 so that's 48 uh, this one over here is 31, find x. So as I showed you earlier, all the angles of a triangle add up to make 180 degrees. So 180 degrees is equal to 31 plus 48 plus x. 31 plus 48 plus x. So that means 180 degrees is equal to 31 plus 41, which is 79 plus x. Subtract 79, subtract 79, I get that x is equal to 101 degrees. Hooray. This one right here. Now, triangle PQR is a isosceles triangle. So that means that this angle is the same as that angle right there, which is really cool. Not that angle, that line, that line. That's what this, this little dash means. But what's cool about it is because those two sides are exactly the same, there's a theorem that says that if they're the same side uh, in the same polygon, side length, then the angles 
across from them will be the same size too. So that means that this angle over here is the same as this angle over here. Um, again, this side is equal to this side, so the angles opposite the two sides will be equal as well. So this is x, so is this. So if I look at all the angles of this triangle, I get 180 degrees is equal to 40 plus x plus x, or 180 is equal to 40 plus 2x. And I can solve that, subtract 40, subtract 40. I get 140 is equal to 2x, divide by 2, divide by 2. That means x is equal to 70 degrees. All right, and you may do these two right here. Remember, if something didn't make sense, slow down, watch it again. Moving on. Now, sorry about the little things here. Uh, we have find the value of x. So this is interesting. So there's something I need to tell you, which is really cool. Um, and I'd rather show you. Let me show you as well. So this right here is a line. It is equal to 180 degrees, right? From here to here, this is 180 degrees. And I am going to color x with an orange. I'm going to color the, the sure this with a purple color. So orange and purple added together are equal to 180 degrees. Now remember that the inside of a triangle is also 180 degrees. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, Mr. Lewis. The inside of a triangle is 180 degrees, but so is the line. So remember that orange plus purple is 180 degrees, and that's purple, so that must mean that this plus this are equal to orange. Now if you don't get that, ask me in class and I will completely go over it again. I'm going to go over it again anyways. But that is a cool theorem. So, or, and I don't even know what theorem it's called. Or, but uh, basically x here is equal to the other two angles. The exterior angle is always equal to the other two angles. So combine. So x is equal to 50 plus 6, which is 110 degrees. Now, to do that a different way without the whole cool thing there, we could know, you know, well, this is 60 plus 50. That means that this angle right here has got to, that's 110. So this angle right here is 70 degrees to add up to 180. And if that's 180, this one over here has to equal uh, make the line to 180, so that is 100 and 110. So that's another way to think about it. But anyways, cool. So let me say that again over here. That means that this right here, the whole thing, is the same thing as this plus that. Okay? So this means that 45 plus 30 is equal to, now that whole thing was 55 plus y. So now we, we only have one unknown. We need to solve for y. So let's combine like terms here. 45 plus 30 makes 75. So 75 is equal to 55 plus y. Subtract 55, subtract 55. I get y is equal to 20 degrees. And we can check ourselves. We can say, um, we can say, okay, 55 plus 20 um, is, 55 plus 20 is 75. And the lawyers can come to the office if you're in the building. And this right here has to make 180 degrees, as does the other two over here. Uh, so that is 105. And 105 plus 45 makes 150. 150 plus 30 is 180. Cool. 
So anyways, remember the in the exterior angle is the same as the other two angles combined. So again, triangle PQR is isosceles. Great. That means that this two lines are the same. That means that this angle is the exact same angle as this angle because they are on opposite sides. Find the measures of angles one and two. So I can find one because this is a line here. One is going to be 180 minus 120. So angle one is equal to, because this these two are supplementary, they make a line. So 180 minus 120 is 60. So angle one is equal to 60 degrees. So 60 goes here. Um, and now I also know that these two angles are the same. So instead of calling that 2, that's a little confusing. I'm going to call them both x. So if I know that both of these are x, I also know that added together, the two oranges make this one. I can say that 2x is equal to 60. Now if 2x is equal to 60, 1x is equal to 30. All right, and that is it. Um, again, if I talk pretty fast sometimes, so this might take repeat viewings. So take your time, watch it again if you need to. Um, do these questions down here. Um, when you're done, you do your homework. Anyways, have an awesome, possum day. Math. Oh, it's the savior of the universe.